For more videos visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com All right guys, now we're going to do this problem that says determine the magnitude of the resultant force and its direction measured clockwise from the positive x axis. Now I'm going to redraw uh, these two forces because I don't think they're drawn appropriately. If this is 400, which would be this one right here, and the other one say 100, the other one should be around double. Should be something like that. So if you redraw this over here and you do the parallelogram, you're going to get the resultant force is somewhere that way. It's always good to draw it good to estimate more or less what the answer is going to be. And let's call this theta. And this is FR. So to add them together, we're just going to break them down into two forces. The uh, first force. This is the x component, and this is the y component, and the second uh, 800 on magnitude force. This is the x component, and this is the y component. So we're going to break them down, add them up, and we're going to figure out the resultant force that way. So the resultant force in the x is going to be this force plus this force right here so it's equal to 400 cosine of 30 degrees which is this 30 right here and if this is 45 you also know that this is 45 but whatever you want um, plus because they're both going towards a positive x-axis 800 cosine of 45 degrees now when you add this two up you're going to get 912.1 now on the y you're going to get this force minus this force because this one's going on the negative y direction so you're going to do 400 sine of 30 degrees minus this, you got to be smart with the signs pay attention 800 sine of 45 degrees now when you subtract this two, you're going to get negative 365.69. And you know these two answers are more or less okay because it goes about 912 this way and then it goes down around 365. So it's more or less where we want it to be. Now we got to convert this with these values, we got to convert it into polar form. So to calculate the magnitude of FR, we simply do the square root of these two values, which is 902.1 squared plus 365.69 squared. I don't put the negative because negative times a negative is a positive, so it's the same thing. When you calculate this, you're going to get 982.68. That's the magnitude. And the angle, this angle right here. You calculate by with the tangent inverse of the y value 69 over the x value and when you do this you're gonna get that theta is equal to 21.85 degrees so the answer is 982.68 at an angle of angle of 21.85 degrees is positive because it's measured clockwise on the positive x-axis final answer